Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yasa. Welcome existing OG subscribers, Leo gang, okay? This is gonna be your May 2022 reading. Welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Mercury. So Leo, whatever messages don't resonate, just let them fly, my loves. Not every card, not every storyline, not every message will resonate. Only take what is for you. This is your general reading for May, so it could touch on any area of your life. So only take the parts that resonate, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Give me clear on this message is for Leo. This is for May 2022. What messages do you have for the beautiful, lovely Leos? Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Keep me safe, ancestors and guides. Love, protection, positivity. I shall close our doors and I'm going to continue to be here. This is for Leo. I'm going to pull general messages from the tarot, um, see what messages the oracle has, and then end it with any love messages, okay? This is for Leo. What messages do you have for Leo in May? I saw the hermit card. You could be dealing with the Virgo. You could be Leo Virgo Cuspers. Leo, please. Okay. Leo. May 2022. Six of Cups of Verse. Okay, so maybe you might be remembering some things, not how they really happened. Maybe you're remembering them way better than they really were or way worse than what it really was. About a Taurus or a Libra, we have the Empress card right here. We have the Lovers and the Death card. You don't want something to end, but it doesn't seem to be healing either. Some, okay, so let me see. General energy, you've been romanticizing about love. You want love. But there might be some closure issues with the death card. There are things about you, things about people, um, things about just the way you think, the way you cope with things that might be a little outdated. With the death card reverse, it's a little outdated. Might need to go back to go back to the drawing board because I'm seeing that you just keep fantasizing about the same thing over and over and over again. Clarify the six of cups reverse. Page of Cups reversed. Yeah, the same thing over and over and over again until like whatever it is that you've been thinking about isn't even what really happened anymore. So you've just been telling yourself little lies on how to cope. We have the Emperor reversed. So the masculine is reversed, but we saw the Empress and she was upright. Yeah, I even see the strength card reverse. Okay. So there's something about your perception or just something about the truth that you're glossing over to just make it a little less painful, I feel. But the truth will set you free. Clarify the lovers. You can be dealing with the Gemini. Clarify the lovers for Leo. Four of Pentacles. Been holding on. To something so tight for dear life you want love so bad but spirit is saying give it more time because there's some truth that you have to come to before this love comes clarify the lovers and the four of pentacles for leo eight of swords reversed I'm saying, Leo, you keep replaying things that you've done. You keep replaying things that you've said. And you keep putting yourself on this same wheel over and over and over again. And it's like, you keep trying to shut your eyes to that you who actually did say that. That you who actually did do that. That was you, Leo. It was you. 
And I keep getting, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? And it's like, Leo, don't beat yourself up anymore about it. Look at it. It happened. Yes, this did happen. Yes, I did say that. Yes, this did happen. Yes, I did allow that. They actually, yes, they did actually do that. Yes, they did lie to me. Yes, they did break my heart. Or whatever, whatever it is that happened. Clarify death reverse. You don't want it to be over. Knight of Cups. Somebody doesn't want this to be over, but the Ten of Cups is reverse. So clarify death reverse and the Knight of Cups for Leo. Ten of Cups still came out reverse. It is over. The devil. This is your toxic trait. Leo, you don't know when to give up. You don't know when to let go. You don't know when to just because someone apologizes doesn't mean that everything is cool again. No, they did what they did. They said what they said. Clarify the star reverse. Or maybe this is you. The night reverse. This is sadness. A lot of pain. Frustration. Clarify the star reverse and the night reverse. It's dark. Page of Swords. You don't even trust what it is that you're seeing or hearing. Nine of Swords reverse. The Hangman reverse. The World reverse. It's like Leo. You're just deluding yourself in some type of false fantasy and you're telling yourself lies. This is not true, Leo. So whatever it is, if this is not true. Maybe you're beating yourself up. Don't say these negative things about yourself. It's not true. Or maybe you're telling yourself that, oh, this person is coming back or, oh, it's going to work out like this. When you know damn well it's not. When you know that they're not. So general energy for you, Leo, you have to develop healthier coping habits, healthier coping mechanisms. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, another Leo, Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio. you're not feeling your self-worth your value you are not um especially expressing it telling people no i'm worth way more than that no you can't treat me like that but you're let you're basically telling people i'm not worth shit yes you can do anything you want to me yes you can say anything you want to me that's what you're doing whether it be internally mentally physically spiritually energetically okay Happy family reverse. There's been a disconnect. Four. Happy family is the number four. Reverse is it's just like the four of wands. It's reversed. Instability. It's supposed to represent closeness, fun, and caring, but it's reversed. When happy fam when this card comes out reverse, it indicates a separation or emotional distance from family members or close friends. This disconnect may be from your family origin, such as your parents or siblings, or it may be something is standing in between your present family members and like your children or your spouse. 
So maybe your family doesn't like your boyfriend or girlfriend, or maybe they always have something to say about how you raise the kids or something like that. There could be some hostilities that needs to be worked out or perhaps some fences that need to be mended. Communication and patience may be called for here. So let your intuition be your guide. And remember, real healing starts when you choose to become your own loving parent, your, the sibling that you always wanted, the spouse you always wanted, the friend you always wanted, or maybe even the child you always wanted. The lesson in every relationship is self-honoring. And sometimes the karma is just to let go. So you need to know when you need to hold on or let go, Leo. Because remember, I was saying, like, I'm getting this energy of you're lying to yourself or you're falsifying the truth with these coping habits that you have. These are unhealthy coping habits, okay? And you're getting tied up into things that you don't even want to get caught up in because there was a lack of self-worth or lack of self-value or lack of boundaries that you have with these people or this person. But you can fix it. It all starts with you, Leo. So whatever it is that's needing to be said, say it. Whatever it is that you're needing to do, do it. All right. Tell me about Leo's love life. The Six of Wands came out crossing. Victory is within reach. It's, it's not... Um, unattainable it can be reached tell me about Leo's love life but you pick and shoot got all this shit falling out Leo damn knight of cups five of cups reverse so this victory depends on what you choose who you choose, what you say, what you don't say. What you do and don't allow, okay? This victory depends on how you feel about yourself, how you govern yourself, what type of boundaries you have, okay? You could be dealing with the Capricorn. I keep seeing the Devil card, Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. It's like you don't stick up for yourself in the in the time that matters. You you stick up for yourself or you say something when when it's something small or when it's something that doesn't really matter. But when it matters the most, it's like where are you, Leo? Like like what the fuck is up, Leo? Ace of Swords reverse. Where are you, Leo? Five of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Or maybe it's just this person, because this is your love life. Maybe you have a weak spot when it comes to this person. Queen of Wands reverse. You're not even, where are you, Leo? You're not even yourself. The Queen of Wands reverse. You don't have the confidence. Or maybe every time when it comes to love, it's like your morals and your values just get thrown out the window because it's love. No, that ain't love. Leo. <laughs> Clarify this energy right here. The Six of Wands and the Five of Cups reverse. The morning. Woo! Good, Leo, because I was going to get on y'all ass. The morning. This is a great, beautiful energy. It's a great card. So what this is saying is the night. You know, so yes, this victory is attainable. It is reachable, but it's up to you. Joy comes in the morning. When is your morning going to come? It can't always be nighttime, Leo. You can't always, you know, things just going to have to change, Leo. This talk is going to have to be had. The change is going to need to be made, Leo. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Justice. Whether you, yep, High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. You no longer have any say-so in this, Leo, because Spirit is going to have to do it and say it because... It's like, what the fuck is you doing, Leo? Leo, you, you, you reverse the Queen of Wands. What's up with this, Leo? Leo, clarify the Queen of Wands reverse. Two of Cups reverse, Leo, with the Empress. Maybe 
Uh, some of you Leos, I could be talking to two different Leos. Some of you Leos, in regard to your love life, you're focused on yourself. Two of Cups, you're not um, worried about love. You're worried about growing your um, spiritual life with the high priestess. And Spirit is rewarding you for this. You're getting more si solid and stable and more financially well-rounded balance with the ace of pentacles and justice this is balance for you this is what's good for you what's best for you when it comes in terms of love i feel like you are trying to work on yourself the empress card i do see that you could somebody could be entering into your life with the knight of cups i do see that but i feel like you're going to be more focused on yourself okay leo you could be doing with the libra pisces Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or another water sign. But this is all I have for you for May, Leo. Um, what we're going to do is we'll check back again next week and see what other messages we get. Um, other than that, Leo, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Leo, everything that you need is within yourself. I love you guys. Y'all be safe. Check the description box. Bye-bye.